Good afternoon. My name is Kathy and I work at the Columbus Public Library in the Adult Services Department. Today I'm going to show you and take a look at a database called MedlinePlus.gov. It is a medical database, so I'm going to start with a little disclaimer and say, please do not act or rely upon any of the information available from MedlinePlus.gov without consulting with your medical provider. All, the me all medical decisions should be made in conjunction with your medical provider. In addition, staff members of the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries are information providers, not medical professionals. Therefore, we, they, we cannot make diagnoses offer medical advice, nor make any recommendations on your medical care. With that in mind, I'm going to take a quick look and show, at, and show you a little bit about MedlinePlus.gov. So if you have a medical question, this is one resource that you can look, can look at. Now MedlinePlus is available two ways. You can go directly to the website, which is just medlineplus.gov. So all you type in the address bar, that's the URL. Or you can go through Galileo, which is available through our library website, which is www.cvl.ga.org. And then you go, once you get to our website, you go to research it. You click on that, you'll get a drop down menu, and then you scroll down to Galileo. Now, if you're using this from home, when you type in Medline Plus in, in the search box, you will have to probably put in a password, which right now is connect, a conduct, and as of January 8th, will change to Bell. Now, Medline, to get back to Medline Plus, MedlinePlus.gov is a service of the National Library of Medicine located in Bethesda, Maryland. It's part of the world's largest medical library, which is then part of the National Institute of Health. It is an online health information resource, and that's just what it is, a resource for patients and their families and friends. It offers information on health conditions, medical tests, medications, dietary supplements, and healthy recipes. Articles are sourced from more than 1,600 selected organizations and are called peer review articles, which means they're reviewed by the experts that before they are put up on Medline.gov by the medical experts. It's high quality, relevant health and wellness information that can be trusted, is easy to understand, and free of advertising. It's in both English and Spanish and can be accessed anytime, anywhere, on any device, be it your laptop, desktop, tablet, or phone, for free. So you just sit down, open up the web on whatever device you want to use, Chrome, Firefox, whatever browser you want to use, and put in medline.gov. Now the search box, which looks like this, is obviously just a box, it's always found in the top of the Medline Plus homepage, or any page in Medline Plus. You can search at any time. There's information underneath that you can click and learn about Medline Plus, what's new, get to a site map, and customer support. What you do is you'll type in your search term or phrase in the search box. You can click go or hit your enter key to, to get the search started. Now the results page will show only the first 10 matches of your search. So for example, if you search on COVID-19, it will bring up the first 10, the first 10 articles, videos, <clears throat> um, 
information that's available in Medline Plus from on COVID-19. If you want to search by a more exact phrase, you put that phrase in quotation marks. So for example, if you're searching for articles, information on COVID-19, you would go quotation, COVID, type COVID-19, quotation, and hit the go key. And this will get you the information that you would like to find on COVID-19. You can search the collections. There are nine different collections and they include information on health topics. This is more than a thousand pages covering such topics as wellness issues, symptoms, causes, treatment and prevention of diseases, illnesses, and health conditions. And this could be asthma, this could be COVID-19, this could be cancer, this could be the flu, anything you want to search on. It will be most likely be under the health topics tab. Drugs and supplement tab. When you type, when you click that, it brings up information that you can search for prescriptions, over the counter medication information, over the counter medication information, and information even on herbs and supplements that you may want to take. Health videos and tools has videos that explain topics in health and medicine, and it also has tools such as tutorials, calculators where you can calculate your BMI, body mass index, you can calculate the calories in food, you can calculate the number of calories you would need doing a certain um, exercise or exercising and quizzes to test your health knowledge. Medical tests. There are over 150 articles on medical tests. These, the pages explain what the tests are used for, why your doctor may order them, how a test will feel, and what the results may mean. So you could use it before the test to see what the doctor is going to do or why the doctor has ordered the test, or if you have questions, or if you need to further information and then you can use it after the test to see what the results mean. There's a medical encyclopedia and this has articles and, and images related to hundreds of diseases and conditions. And then finally there's a link so you can get to recipes. Not only is there a recipe but it shows you how to prepare the recipe, tasty healthy meals, and make it in short amount of time. Rachel Ray's 30 minute meals. It has, e they have easy to follow instructions and include nutrition information. So you can go how much fiber, how many calories, how many servings, that type of stuff. Now, say you're having problems reading the regular article in Medline Plus. It's too techy, it's too medically. It's, it's just too hard to follow. There are as a link in Medline Plus to easy to read materials. And this again is health information on medications, on recipes, on surgeries, on medical tests, anything that you need that you might need something a little, little easier to read and understand and use. There's health information, not only in Spanish, but in up to 60 more languages. And this could include Arabic, Chinese, Polish, Italian, German, Portuguese, any language you can think of, it's probably, the information is probably available in that language. And again, it's documents, audio recordings, and videos for the information that's available on Medline Plus. Medline Plus has a magazine. It's an online magazine. It's available through the National Institute of Health, and it's called the National Institute of Health Medline Plus magazine. There's a direct link on the home page to it. It has timely articles, especially about what's going on today with the COVID-19 and the coronavirus and the vaccine that's come, becoming available, and what you need to do and not do in order to protect yourself. 
and the there is a direct link like I said on the home page or you can just type in the the URL which is https colon semicolon forward slash forward slash magazine dot medline plus dot gov and the link is right here there are also links to clinicaltrials.gov. This link is a database of privately and public available clinical studies conducted around the world from everything to studying the COVID-19 virus and everything involved with it, including the development of the vaccine, a vaccine, um, to cancer clinical trials, to arthritis clinical trials, any type of clinical trial you just go to clinicaltrials.gov and you could look up and see if there is a clinical trial that you would like to try to attend now there are usually disclaimers about it and there are usually some restrictions so you would have to again talk this over with your doctor before you went to a clinical trial There are balloon operators, or it's called balloon, bullion, sorry, but bullion searching in Medline Plus and wildcards. The following operators can be used in Medline Plus. They're or, not, hyphen, plus, and asterisk. You don't need to use the and operator because the search engine automatically finds resources containing all of your search terms, meaning if you search for aspirin and heart disease it will search both aspirin and and put that and in automatically heart disease so some of the examples of the boolean searching in the wild cards are if you want to use an or boolean operator you do ibuprofen or advil so it will search either for ibuprofen or for the brand name Advil. That or just means you want to search on either term. Not or use a hyphen. So COVID-19 not Sears, SARS or COVID-19 hyphen SARS. This means that you only want to search on COVID-19 and search for those articles on COVID-19. Because you want to learn more about COVID-19, but you don't want to know anything. You don't want to know about SARS at this time. When you use a plus, this is required for when you want the exact word to appear in your results. For example, plus Advil will automatically get all the results with the brand name Anvil, Advil in them without including the generic term ibuprofen. So, go ahead if you want and do a sample search. Practice with Medline. So, on your computer at home, type in https semicolon forward slash forward slash www.medlineplus.gov. And in the search box at the top of the page, type in quote COVID 19 quote. What are the results? What did you find? Did you find what you were looking for? What links came up? What links come up? Click on that first link, Coronavirus Disease 2019, and see where the link takes you. Because Coronavirus 19, the links will probably take you directly to the National Library of Medicine or to the CDC. Then do a search on something that you're interested in. Have fun with it and enjoy yourself. I've enjoyed our little talk and I hope I can talk to you guys to you again. Have a nice day.